It's Doodle a Day 23. It's been like four whole days. I've missed you guys. Bet you missed me too, right? Okay. We're going to kick things off with a shout out. Loud noises. Had a lovely tradie by the name of Mitch come up to me and say, Hey, Rove, could you do a doodle of me with my tool belt on and my Bunnings hat? No. Mailbag. From Glenn Whit, who wanted to know, does this mean Doodle a Day will now be called Doodle a Week? I may be only posting a video once a week, but I'm certainly doing my doodles every day. Thank you. But wait, what's this? A Doodle Kind update? <laughs> Kylie on Facebook let me know that Doodle Kind is also a great song by Shannon Knowles' Big Brothers. How am I only just finding out about this? Well, why don't you just Spotify it? Well, you know what? I will. And I did. After in New York. I love it. It's catchy and it's country. <laughs> Sorry, but now. Mm, let's get ready to doodle! I go. Look, as you have had a few days without an update, Lazy. Yeah, righto. today's doodler day is gonna be big. <laughs> Not bigger than that. <laughs> Not bigger than that. <laughs> Not bigger than that. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, that one's hard to beat. Today, there are six. Count them. Six doodles. Oh yeah, it's our first ever sex doodle. Uh, can I say that? Probably not. Twitter time. Karina Solomons tweeted me to ask, my seven year old daughter and I wondered if you would be so kind to help with her schoolwork. Their challenge, to draw the rhinoceros ripped up all the rhubarb. Ruh -roh. So look, I snuck out of my class to help them out and here's your doodle. Angry rhino, outraged at the very idea of rhubarb. Only option to tear it to shreds. If you'd like help with your unhomework, then by all means, contact me at any time and I will gladly let you copy my work. <laughs> Take that education. On Facebook, Helen Younger asked me, I would like to see a kangaroo homeschooling her joey and a wombat trying to homeschool her joey, but doesn't seem like it's working too well. Kangaroo doesn't seem to be struggling. Her joey, tucked away in the pouch, happily reading a book and she couldn't be prouder. Mother Wombat is seemingly having a rough time of it as her joey, instead of doing his drawing, is trying to shove his pencil up his nose. Guess she can't really keep her baby in the pouch all the time because it's upside down. Doodle a day, learning all about the perils of upside down pouches. Again. From the Instagram fam, another in the homeschooling theme. Weekends of Bernie says, I'm a kindy teacher and this term is all about fairy tales. I would like to see a mix of different fairy tale characters all hanging out together once this lockdown is over. Well, I thought all of those characters should be on a lovely picnic. There's Pinocchio, Little Red Riding Hood. You got some of the three little pigs, one of the seven dwarves, Jack and his beanstalk, the three bears, Rapunzel and her long, long hair, and even the goose, actually laying a golden egg. <sighs> I can't wait till I'm back out having a picnic with a wolf dressed as my grandma. Wait, what? Ali Marie, 82. So much better than the first 81. Says, I'm a teacher and I would love to see a picture of Rocky Lobster in a classroom teaching an art class to a crab, a turtle and an octopus all up to no good. Look at this troublemaking crab, octopus and turtle meant to be doing their paintings and just really making a mess of everything. And I thought what would make this fun is Rocky isn't just teaching the art class, he is the art class being a wonderful life model. Check out those buns. I mean, seriously, don't they look delicious? What did you think I was talking about? From the Instagram fam and pose. You won't use that last one, right? That's right. And pose. N I've already done that joke. Says, I'd love to see some ladybirds doing a hula concert. Three lovely ladybirds all doing their very hula best. But of course, the one at the end needed a bit more practice and unfortunately just got completely tangled. Finally, from Facebook, Tanya McCallum says, My four-year-old son would like you to draw Optimus Prime and Bumblebee backyard camping with Batman, Superman and Spider-Man, please. Well, what else could I say to that request except... Autobots, transform and roll out. <coughs> Sorry, I had something in my throat. Let me try that again. Autobots, roll out. Here is the mighty Optimus Prime, leader of the Autobots. Next to him, his trusty friend, Bumblebee, both looking a little bit confused 
They are joined by the trio of Batman, Superman, and Spider-Man. Superman making the most of his heat vision by cooking the marshmallows for Spidey, but we see the reason for the confusion is Batman saying to Optimus and Bumblebee, we'll take the big tent. (laughs) I'm so sorry. Before we go, some doodle news. Look, I hate to say it, guys, but I've been seeing other mediums behind your back. Yes, I've been making Doodle A Day appearances on the ABC show, Me at Home. Corona just plug. I know, me on television. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'll see you at Doodle A Day 24, whenever that is. Maybe I'll get another one up midweek. Probably not. Didn't ask you. But in the meantime, keep me going till then with as many crazy ideas as you can. I will still be doing at least a Doodle A Day until next time we meet. It'll keep me out of trouble till then. <laughs>